Right, thank you. you. Yes. Love to you. Now, uh, of course, lots of you, I'm sure, will know how to take a panoramic photo on your uh, phone. We took one earlier on yes. uh, of us in the studio. There we are. That there was just during the first film. Yep. It's back at the Beatty Tower. Jamie Crawford's doing a supersized one. Earlier at the Beatty Tower, we'd restarted the 60s revolution, fired up the rotating restaurant floor, and captured a time lapse of London by night. And by stitching together our shots, we've made a 360-degree panorama far wider than can be achieved in just one shot. But I'm not the only one to spot the tower's unique photographic potential, because a team of specialist photographers led by Jeffrey Martin are setting out to create the most detailed panoramic image of a city ever made. We were asked to create the largest photo in the world, and I thought for a few years now that Beachy Tower would be actually a perfect location for that. It's like a giant tripod. And on that tripod, four computerized cameras with telephoto lenses will each snap a grid of images that make up one quarter of the panorama. So it's uh, about 160 uh, pictures across by 76 pictures in increments. OK. Uh, it'll take uh, more than 12,000 pictures on each position, so uh, nearly 50,000 photos. So four times 12,000 pictures? Yeah. Wow. It's a process that will take over an hour, and in theory, during that time, a single person could be photographed multiple times in different places across the city. So to test the resolution of the final image, we're dispatching our one-show target man, JJ, on a mission to try and appear, first nearby the tower, and then to race the scanning cameras across London to another landmark over two miles away. The building that before the tower was built was the nation's tallest, St Paul's Cathedral. The race is on. The team must take all of the nearly 50,000 photographs they need for a full panorama before the light will have changed too much for their shots to match. If they can do this, their final image will be so detailed that my own effort would fit inside theirs some 5,000 times. With JJ reaching St Paul's just in time, zooming out from him in the finished image reveals the full extent of the most detailed photograph of a city ever taken. And of I course, can't that, wait to see this. Well, that is just a little snapshot because we're now going to roll out yes. the whole thing. Okay, or as ready? much of it that will fit in the studio. Okay, go. Let's go, out. Oh, oh, hang on, oh, hang on. Oh, oh, key. We've to... gone one key. We need to go okay. level because otherwise yeah. we'll never get it all in. Here we go. Look at this. This is absolutely Brilliant. extraordinary. That there we are. Excellent. That's that's absolutely yeah. massive. It's good. Come and have a little look, look. So there we and we've got Jeffrey Martin here. So uh, Jeffrey, I mean this this is a small version of what you can produce. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, if it were printed full size, it would be uh, about 93 meters long and 20 meters tall. But but still at that detail and that quality. Yeah, yeah, that detail. Wow. And this was commissioned, actually, for, for a particular event, but it took a bit longer to do than you anticipated originally, didn't it? Right. It ended up taking a little over three months to put it together. And how long was it supposed to take? Uh, maybe two or three weeks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really worth it. It was brilliant. Wow. It was brilliant. And as we know it, this is the world's largest panorama. That's right. Wow. Wh which other ones have you done? Uh, I've done one previously of London that was 80 gigapixels. Right. This one's 320. Uh, and then another one of earlier of Prague that was 18 gigapixels. And how, how does that relate then to a normal photo that we'd be taking? Uh, well, this is made out of uh, about 48,000 individual photos wow. yeah, of the National oh, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, about. Now then, we've got Simon over here. Where's Simon? Simon's over there. Oh, Simon. Yes, he's over there. It's all right. Uh, Simon's the London tour guide, and you're going to point out some things that we'd see we from the guy Isn't in this picture. Fantastic. We can start with the old and go to the new because over here we have the one show. Yes, yes. 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 There you go, that's us right now. And of course, that's our television centre from 1960, but of course, the BBC is. Uh, uh, coming back to its, its old um, base, really, here mm -hmm. in the Broadcasting House. Yes. So this, you can see, you just don't get this, uh, the bulk of that building from the ground. It's phenomenal. So that's so by Regent Street there, then? This is now, you've yeah. got Regent Street. You can just make out there John Nash's uh, All Saints Round Church, his famous Round Church. How nice for you to be flying over this as opposed to looking at yeah. it from the ground. Vertigo, okay. is that a problem? Yeah. And coming down here, this is all Fitzrovia, fantastic, look at it. 
And here you've got this wonderful site here, which uh, this is the old Middlesex hospital site. And to actually um, walk around that, of course, you've got a big yeah. fence around Simon, it. Simon, this yeah? is perfect that wallpaper is for your perfect. bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. It is wonderful. Anyway, Love it. thank you so much. Thank